All right, let's take a look at the relationship between KSP and molar solubility and see if we can kind of uh, skip some steps and say some things about the compounds. And you'll see sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. So let's compare these two examples, magnesium hydroxides and um, iron carbonate. We can see that this one right here has a smaller KSP than the um, iron carbonate right? One is smaller than the other. And so you may predict that it has a smaller solubility. But if we look at the solubility of values, we see that that's wrong, um, that the sol molar solubility of magnesium hydroxide is actually higher, right? And so you can see the, in this case, these two relationships, KSP and molar solubility, don't essentially follow the same trend. Just because one number is bigger than the other doesn't mean that the corresponding solubility will be bigger. And we can think about why that is if we write this KSP here, right? In this case, this KSP is magnesium 2 plus times the concentration of hydroxide squared, whereas this bottom one is the KSP of the iron 2 plus times the carbonate, right? And so you can tell the big difference here is this squared, right? These two things don't have these, they're not to the same power. The top equation is an overall to the third power. The bottom equation is overall only to the second power. And so we can't use KSP to say which is more soluble if the stoichiometry is not the same. Right. Magnesium hydroxide splits up into three things, has three products, whereas iron uh, carbonate only has two products. So the stoichiometry is not the same. In this next example, we can see our stoichiometry is the same, right? Magnesium hydroxide splits up into three products. Calcium fluoride splits up into three products as well. And so in this case, this KSP of magnesium hydroxide is, small, is uh, smaller. And then the corresponding solubility is also smaller. And so in this case, we can just look at the KSP and tell which one is more soluble than the other. Because in this case, both KSPs, if you did an ice table, they would be equal to x times 2x squared, right? So in this case, when the stoichiometry is the same, you can tell which one is going to be more soluble by just looking at the KSP. So right, can use KSP to say, which is more soluble if the stoichiometry is the same.